Hi, guys. Welcome to the program. I'm Sergio Guerrero here with Neutral Corner MMA, and I'm speaking with UFC heavyweight junior Baby Albini. How you feeling, man? Yeah, feeling awesome, brother. Uh, five weeks is the, the feeling awesome because I did a very good camp, so I'm feeling pretty confident. And uh, it's just a matter right now to lose the, the little bit of weight and get it on on Saturday. Nice. And uh, before we get into the whole training caps thing, I just want to congratulate you, first of all, on having uh, your son uh, born this past March. I know that yeah, you're, you're a very proud father. So I believe his name is Anthony, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Anthony. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. I just uh, bought a lot of stuff to bring to him. <laughs> nice, man. I just want to congratulate you, first of all. Um, and I just want to talk about that for a second. You know, how, how's life been now with two children and being a fighter? What do you, what, what's the differences than just being a fighter, being a father and a fighter? You know, uh, I think uh, because I'm a fighter, you know, I have uh, more able times to spend with them, you know, because I can uh, just better to the time. So uh, for me, it works very well because I can uh train well i do my stuff and keep uh my my, my free time with them so uh one goes uh, very good along with each, uh, each other nice and i'm glad to hear that that you spend a lot of time with your children i know some fighters usually have a problem because they're always training doing you know different things amongst uh their priorities but uh does having that second child add some type of different motivation to to what you want to do this weekend yeah, for sure. Uh, before my fight against Arzino, my wife was pregnant. Uh, she was like one week to, to, to give birth, so I was very anxious. Uh, but right now, I don't have this pressure. I know she's good, you know, she's taking care of Anthony and my daughter. And uh, they are waiting me back home, so I'm very confident to, to, to bring the, this victory for them. Okay. And, you know, I know you talked about training camp at the beginning of this. And I just want to know, I've seen some videos of you training at Box 10 Capacities in Parang... What is it? Parangua? Yeah. Par Parangua. Brazil? It's the Par same city Par in John Lincoln, too. Nice, nice. Uh, so how, how's that been? How, how, what, what type of experience have you gotten from training there? Yeah, uh, I think being home is, is very good for me because, you know, I can... Uh, my, 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 my mental warfare is, is good, you know, I can... As, like I said to you, I can spend time with my, my daughter and my son. And uh, the south part in Brazil that I am from, Paranaguá, is, there's a lot of tough guys from Muay Thai. Uh, it's near Curitiba. Uh, Maurice Green is a striker, so it comes along. It it's, it's, was good, a good choice to, to be home and do this camp there. Right, and I know I wanted to mention Maurice Green, who's your opponent coming up uh, this Saturday at UFC Minnesota. Um, he, you know, he's he's won one fight in the UFC. He's done the tough. Um, what, what type of experience do you think he takes brings into the fight against you? Yeah, I think he he fought on Glory uh, three times, I think, or four. He fought against tough guys, so he's very experienced in standing. Probably he won't be afraid of exchange. Uh, but I, I'm think he's uh, in for a surprise on Saturday because I think I'm the. Uh, I'm a much faster fighter, you know, and uh, I'll be able to to connect uh, more than him. And uh, when I connect, I know I, I got power to put him away. Nice. Um, and I know that, unfortunately, you're coming off of a three-fight losing streak. If if this doesn't go your way, it's the fourth fight. Does this add more pressure to this fight specifically? Do you feel like you need that win even more? Yeah, not, not for the UFC, but for me, you know, uh, I'm pissed because of my last couple fights against Olinique. I did a stupid mistake. And I uh, got caught uh, against Jairzinho. I was very anxious to finish the fight. I know I was able to 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 finish it, but I couldn't. Uh, so I'm trying to not be uh, that anxious to finish the fight. You know, I just keep fighting until uh, I get the, the the win. Nice. And Maurice Green, you know, he's only had two losses in his career um, thus far, and both those losses have gone to decision. Do you feel like if you take this fight the distance, you have a chance? Of winning this fight or do you feel like i'm going in there and regardless of what happens i want to come out the victor yeah i i know i mean for a dog fight you know i'm i'm willing to put the pressure uh from the bell and uh i know i can can keep going uh, the three rounds uh probably i'm the best physical shape i i i ever was in my whole efc five fight so i'm confident that i can push the pace on this fight and uh maybe this is going to be a problem for him Okay. I know he's a terrible guy, but uh, I think I, I got a better cardio than him, too. All right. And I know that 
uh, being a part of the heavyweight division right now, you have uh, two major fights going on, one in the same card that you're going to be fighting on. Uh, you know, it's going to be a huge fight for the heavyweight division. What do you think about Ngannou and Dos Santos? Who's going to win that fight? Yeah, it's a tough one, brother. Uh, I mean, Ngannou probably is the scariest guy in the, the heavyweight division uh, in terms of power. Uh, if the guy connects, it's probably over. Uh, but I think uh, Cigano is uh, the, the the better fighter. You know, is more technical. It's just a matter uh, if Ngannou connects or not. But in the long terms, I think Cigano is the better fighter. But the, uh, Ngannou is dangerous uh, all the time. So it's a, it's a tough fight. But I'm favoring a little bit uh, Dos Santos. Okay. Um, and, you know, there's another heavyweight fight that's coming up at UFC 241 in Anaheim. It's uh, DC versus Stipe. Wh who do you think will come out on top in that matchup? Uh, really, bro, to be honest, I thought that Stipe was going to see in role in the first one uh, against DC, and DC just uh, kept at the same level and knocked me out. So I was wrong. And uh, we, we, we can't uh, count DC out. Uh, he's one of the best, you know, he's a very good fighter. So in this one, I, I really don't know, bro. I'm probably gonna favor DC uh, this time more. I know Steve is a hell of a fighter too. He's strong, but uh, I think DC is is crazy, man. He's he's, he's, he's different. Nice, and I know that uh, a lot of the MMA media is giving you coverage regarding you know the things that you've said about your children and um, what type of things do you like to put out there regarding your fighting, other than just you know your personal life. What is it in your fighting style that you believe can get you to that top level and that top degree of fighters? I think I have, uh, of course, I have the a size for a heavyweight. I have the power for a heavyweight because I train a lot of them. Uh, but I think my hand speed is, is, is a good factor. I think I believe uh, I believe myself that I have a, a good hand speed and, and power on those punches. Maybe not the same power as in Ganu or Derek Lewis and those guys, but I'm pretty sure that I have quick, quick hands and uh, good precision. Okay. And let's say all goes well, you know, this weekend you win the fight. You get that microphone. What do you say? Are you calling out anybody? You know, what is it that you want to do next with your career? Yeah, actually, I have uh, one name in my mind, but uh, I'm not willing to say it just yet. I have to focus on the fight, but I have one guy in, in mind that I want to, to challenge. Okay, glad to hear. And uh, you just want to let everybody know where they can follow you, what your handles are on your social medias? Yeah, my Instagram is uh, Junior Albini, and my Twitter is Junior dot uh, Albini. It's uh -huh. easy to find. All right, everybody, there you have it. UFC heavyweight Junior Baby Albini joining us here with Neutral Corner MMA Junior. I appreciate it, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you, man. Anytime. Thank you a lot. All right, appreciate it. Bye bye.